you know, for the past few months now, I've been taking this certificate program with the National Catholic Bioethics Center. And it goes into all these different life issues, you know, all the stuff from, from the womb to the tomb, from IVF uh, to abortion to euthanasia, to all these very sensitive uh, and complex issues and how they become more complex specifically through all the medical um, technologies that are constantly being developed and improved. And it's really fascinating to, just to see this kind of complex web of ethical issues that develops from all of these new technologies and procedures that are always being developed. And, you know, in so many ways, you, we can look at all these very serious and important issues, but we, we see like how technology in such a big way has enabled man to try to have a total autonomy over human life. You know, so much so that we can create it how we want it to look. We can kind of design our babies. We can have control over life and decide when and where to pull the plug when it becomes inconvenient for us. And, and all these very sensitive things here, but it all points to this kind of total control that man desires to have over human life and even over his, his or her offspring. And we look today, and I think this idea of life as a gift comes through all the readings and the saint that we celebrate today. The courageous mother we read about from the book of Maccabees, I think one of the most striking, uh, striking passages of the Old Testament, one of the things in the lectionary that I know for me always pops out every time we go through it, how this mother exhorts her sons to stand fast. She sees her seven, seven sons killed in one day for not violating the law of the Lord. And she encourages them to stand fast. And she says so beautifully, you know, I, I was not the one who gave you breath. You know, you, you were formed in my womb, but I was not the one who gave you life. This woman who sees that human life comes into existence, not through an act of producing it or desiring it how one wills, but ultimately as a gift from God. And then we see in the Gospel today how the Lord serves as this parable of the king who goes off. He entrusts his talents to his servants for them to use their gifts, not to keep them locked away in a little box, to use those gifts and to multiply those gifts by giving them away and by engaging with them. And then St. Elizabeth of Hungary today, the great saint we celebrate, the Franciscan tertiary who lived in the 13th century, St. Elizabeth of Hungary who herself was royalty, and after her three children were born and raised and her husband passed away and she was widowed, she really devoted her entire life to the service of the poor, really giving away all she had, uh, working tirelessly for the most wretched and miserable of uh, the poor among her. Her spiritual director in a beautiful writing says that, you know, at her, her last will and testament, she basically says, whatever you think is mine actually belongs to the poor. I only ask that you give me this kind of ratted up dress to be buried in. Other than that, everything else belongs to the poor. You know, she saw her whole life as a gift. Everything that was given to her was to be used for others. So we pray for that grace that we too can see human life, even in the complex circumstances that uh, the new circumstances of our times make present to us, but to see all of human life as a gift, to see all of human life as a gift, and that we too, patterning ourselves on the Eucharistic uh, Eucharistic model of our Lord, who gives himself to us uh, as a total gift, as our food. We pray for that grace that we too may hold back nothing of ourselves from the same Jesus who gives himself totally to us today in Holy Communion.